What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Toots Movie Live, back with another reaction video. Today, we got the Player P, P, George, Putter, Potter, whatever the, I don't know what the name of this shit is called, but it's pod, Paul George's podcast. I told y'all I was going to watch more of his podcast videos, because they talking about basketball and coming from the basketball fanatic himself. You know how, y'all know my opinion. But, it was about Kyrie Irving, who is the best player, player, not greatest player, you know, greatest, this is what y'all need to understand, NBA fans, media fans. Y'all, whenever people say greater, that is accolades, trophies, influence, leadership, bluesy, blasey, doobity, toobity, boobity. Shit, I don't care about. When I talk about the best players, I'm talking about, nigga, what they do with that ball in their hands. Kyrie is the best player in basketball history to play basketball. Like, no one's doing what he's like, bro. Like, it's not even close. That's why he's my favorite player. Well, one of my favorite players of all time. But does Kyrie have the deepest bag in the league? If you're even asking this question, it honestly just makes me mad that this is a question. Did any star player kind of surprise you? I would say Kyrie. What did he surprise Kobe you? You knew you couldn't fuck with him. How did he surprise you? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I think he had like 50. Damn. But like, the way he did it, it was like, like this nigga is like, like going crazy mm -hmm. like he's stopping on the dime pulling up on I'm three I'm telling y'all he's throwing the ball over niggas heads and it's, I'm like bro what is I going respect Jalen Green cause I ain't gonna cap I don't care where I'm at nigga put me on sports center my pot like I don't like it but like I'm saying nigga I'm I'm talking like me I'm not I don't care where I'm at bro I'm like, I just talk you feel me I just flow with the flow you feel me this is impressive. I respect how like you just talk you playing against him like you still trying to like compete but it's like you're just in awe like seeing what he's doing like I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's like, different. Kai he's definitely do some shit where you <laughs> like, hold on, bro. You, it's really weird. Like, you think he like six 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 yeah, seven? Yeah, like, like the way he he'll be making some shots. Shit, like, bro, you little. Put you in the post. He do all that. Yeah, shit, right. He'll post you up. Like, bro, you six one six yeah. two. What are you doing? It's probably and, yeah. and he got some shit for it though. Yeah. His bag is crazy. Crazy. Rico. Yeah, I think I was I was most impressed with Kai. I'm trying to tell y'all, he's the best basketball player ever, bro. Like. That's like what I hate the most is the narrative. I say it every video I'm talking about Kyrie. The narrative, oh, Kyrie's the best ball handler. No, that's not where it ends. It's not about ball handling. It's about basketball. Like offensively, no one can do what he's doing. He's not just dribbling fast. Oh, cool handle. No, that's not what he's doing. When he's dribbling, he's looking for a purpose. Every dribble he takes, he is like, okay. He's going to buy for this, and I'm a, I'm finna hit him with this. He does that every time. He gets to a he bro. He gets to his spot, pull up, or get there, boom, pump fake. But bro, he he's like that. Driving the paint. I'm talking over like he's like that, bro. Y'all always just talk about dribbling. It's not just dribbling. He is the greatest dribbler of all time, but it's not just dribbling. If if it's like a oh a just dribbling type of person, we could talk about Jamal Crawford. That's like a okay. You could tell he's dribbling that bit. But Kyrie is nah, bro. It's not dribbling. It's Getting to where you got to be, doing the move that you know is going to work. This person, you know this is going to work on them. It's different. It's levels to this shit. That was like my rookie year. I can tell you. What we going to call it? PG bonus, and we're going to give it to my boy, Jalen Green, and we're going to call it Rated OG. So, Jalen, give us somebody out there. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to stand on Kyrie. I want, I want to learn from Kyrie if I can. Yeah. Okay. I like that one. Yeah. Solid. For Jalen Green, Kyrie. I feel like the best person he should learn from could be Kyrie, a Paul George type. Because Jalen Green, he's a shiftier guard, smaller guard would bounce. Uh, Anthony Edwards, he, I mean, they're both the same young, youngness, so I can't really just say it. Uh, not Curry. Curry just shooting that bitch. Jalen Green, who does he remind me of? This older. I don't even know. Kai is he, he's a teacher too. Yeah, like. nah, he he's tapped in with me. Like I got his number. Like okay. we text each other, but you know, I mean he talks to me at the games too, but like yeah, that'll be somebody I wanna yeah. learn from. Just see what his bag yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, his bag. What you wanna learn most from me? Probably just like footwork. Mm -hmm. And just like how he reads, mm -hmm. his reads and yes, stuff. Yes, his reads. Seen. That's the I'm word I'm something. looking for. It's his reads. Yeah, I learned from him. Mm -hmm. La I don't know if it was last episode or episode before that. Kobe uh he hit kobe up with a message yeah. and he sent him the video of, of of the stuff he asked kobe that he need to work out with yeah. so all i'm saying is take your opportunity kobe you have him, kobe be lit. yeah and, and sure. you say you got kyrie number mm -hmm. hit him up and ask him notes and if he's kyrie and he's a, a person that you think he is he should be able to hit you back and give Nigga, you notes <laughs> like how kobe gave him. why are you saying like if he's kyrie and he's the person that you think what what Nigga, what the fuck? So he just obligated to text the nigga back? Do it. 
him no. no for sure. And I told him the notes that he got, he still got it in his phone. He should get a tattoo of it or something. So if you mm. ask Kyrie something, start hitting him up. Don't let him get out the NBA where he's doing all his old his woke stuff. shit. Yeah, his know? woke <laughs> shit. His <laughs> woke shit. Don't let him get too Careful. deep in his Man, they, they, this is that dick right there. Being in the entertainment business, yeah. I got a lot of different type of friends. Even if Kyrie shit. got out the NBA, he would. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't care to get others better. The fuck? How do I stay connected with yeah. them sometimes? He loves basketball. That doesn't mean he loves the politicking in NBA media and all that bullshit that, that y'all bring different shit to basketball y'all the shit that y'all be saying he don't like y'all be, yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't gotta i don't never ask him for nothing yeah. but if anything i'm a friend that would just call them and, and give them advice off i hear something so take it take take good advantage of that man yes, sir. hit Kyrie up i would say kobe, i would say kobe too i mean just to get his mentality yeah his mental was like yeah but bro no, like, <laughs> <laughs> niggas be did kobe mentality What's the word I'm looking for? The Kobe mentality narrative. That, that's my favorite word, narrative. That narrative is the most crazy. I've seen niggas say they rather have Kobe mentality than Steph Curry and shooting than LeBron James athleticism. I've never seen shit like that. So you're telling me you rather think like a nigga than be to do some shit you possibly like. You can have Kobe mentality. You can think. You. It, it's not even a thing. That's just what. Believe it, like I don't even know what that is. Believing in yourself and going in, I don't know what the hell even like what Kobe mentality. Keep working and not giving up, or go through whatever you have to do and play the game even if you're hurt. Like, bro, anyone could do that. What the fuck you mean his mentality, dude? What? Like, I. But but you wouldn't want Curry shooting something that like would take years to lower like buku time to do in LeBron's athleticism over Kobe. Niggas said they rather have Kobe mentality. I said y'all niggas crazy. Y'all crazy. It's man. a true story. I, I, and and again, we told this last episode, but true I feel story, like if I was know, in the I NBA and I was getting paid millions, I'd have the mentality playoffs, myself you know? to work hard and do whatever I, maybe. And and again, we told this last episode, but true story. You know, I hit him up and it was in, during the playoffs, and mm-hmm. I'm you know struggling in the playoffs, and I needed some help on coverages and how to beat certain defense that Portland was throwing at me. Mm-hmm. I sent him a video. He got back to me and sent like two pair, like a long paragraph, but detailed as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like it's tough. It, it was tough. Yeah. Like he really watched the whole video, and it was a long. Like so for him to watch that mm-hmm. and go like it was damn near like he went clip for clip. Yeah. Like he was breaking it down. Like clip for clip, yeah. and it was like it was like probably. 15 minute long yeah. and he was clip for clip like when you see this do that when when they send this do this like yeah. if you're if you have a conversation with your center like <laughs> it was just detailed like yeah. he said he's seen the game which is yeah where where he, he got I went crazy, you went crazy next i went game? crazy next game had like 40 something like when game hit you with a he yeah, from so, deep stop yeah. so. hit Kyrie today just hit him up, just to yeah. say what up. Just to had you on you my hit up Kyrie, my nigga. You hit up Kyrie. It's so damn easy to hit up Kyrie every day. Everybody text Kyrie, starting with you, my nigga. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You yeah. you yeah, forcing it. Re actually up. works. At, you'll see him. Re actually works out at uh, Proactive. Yeah. I got him up at Proactive. We've been okay. up there last year. So I see y'all then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see Re. Re got some shit. These niggas all in the NBA. They can dead ass just like, come on, bro. They all got respect for each other type shit. But. That's my opinion on Kyrie, the greatest player to ever touch a basketball, best player to ever touch a basketball. But if y'all like, if you like, comment, subscribe, check everything down below. Till next time, we out. Peace.